Hey everybody, this is Ghost Hunter Dan, and I'm at the Creston Opera House. Um, don't know much about it. Uh, I looked it up on the internet. There's not a lot of history on it. It looks like uh, there's a crew here renovating it. Um, not really sure what they did here. I don't know if they used to put on plays or whatever. But um, I'm going to cut this video together tonight here. Let's get around this thing. I'm going to cut this video together tonight, but uh, there's the opera house. Uh, it says Wood or Creston Opera House. Did I say Woodstock Opera House? I might have. Uh, Creston Opera House. So here's who you call for the hall rental. And here's people that have donated to it or in memory of. So, but there is a crew in there. I mean, it's open, but um, not quite sure how extensive everything is. So, uh, gonna try to come back down here sometime and uh, check it out. So, uh, it's like here's the back entrance to it, and we'll see. Don't know if it's haunted or not, but it looks cool. So, we will. Uh, Catch you at the next. Hey guys, Ghost Hunter Dan. Um, I'm in a little cemetery in Malta. Um, actually, got a lot of room here. There is a mausoleum up in there. Uh, but what caught my eye is all the soldier stones right here. And uh, really kind of neat. I mean, it's not neat that anybody dies, but it's. It's just neat that they kind of put them all in. Well, you know what, guys? I don't know if they're soldier stones or not. Uh, it looks like it's just names on there. Laddie, RR, JE. Um, this might be a plot of unknowns or something. Now, this is a... Uh, Soldier Stone, because I can see it says Veteran U.S. Navy, maybe. Uh, I know these belong to soldiers, but I'm not quite sure. Not quite sure what went on there, and somebody knocked one over. So that's not good. Um, but right here, guys, I mean, you can see. I'm not too sure that we didn't drive across some people right here. So, anyhow, uh, there's their little house where they probably keep their mowers and stuff. Uh, don't know much about Malta's history. I do recognize some names. There's the old cemetery boundary that, right there, marked the boundary. Uh, now the boundary is way down there. You can see where the cornfield starts. So, uh, anyway, we'll cut this video together for you all so you can see it. Hey guys, this is the second uh, video in the Malta Cemetery. Um, this is the only mausoleum that's in this whole cemetery. Uh, 1913, the name is Dodge on it. Well, what I wanted to show you guys is, if you look through the window right there, Right there, oh, my finger's too big. You can see the uh, stained glass window through the other side, and I will, uh, I don't wanna walk across people's graves to show you it, but uh, I'll shoot the stained glass window through the other side so you guys can see it. Here's the back side of the mausoleum, guys, and it looks like there was something written up on top of there at one time, and it. But there's the stained glass window that you're seeing. So, um, kind of like the mausoleum and and uh, Maple Cemetery in Kirkland, probably made around the same time, or you know, designed around the same time, and then they just kept it in there. So, uh, pretty old cemetery though. There's some old burials in here. Uh, somebody named Wrigley right there probably related to the Wrigley's in Chicago somewhere along the way but uh, anyhow 
Just wanted to stop down here because it is a neat cemetery. It's kind of cool how the two roads go through and and then you come out. So we'll catch you at the next one. All right, guys, this is South Grove Cemetery. Uh, it was established in 1845, 43. Anyway, if any of you guys have ever noticed my my website and stuff, that's where I caught the face right there. Peeking around that big stone of James James Byers. So he uh gentleman used to live around here. Um he uh was looking right around that stone right there at me. So, um, I recognize a lot of names in this cemetery. And uh, a lot of Kirkland history right in here, buried right here. So, anyhow, there's a lot in the, a uh, lot of people in the ground over there. A lot of uh, flat stones that are laying right in the grass. So this will kind of end the little cemetery tour and stuff today. And uh, check us out tonight on uh, Facebook, Ghost Hunter Dan Norvell Project, and we'll be doing a live broadcast at uh, 9 o'clock. September 12th, 2017, and there's a bunch of white pigeons hanging around out here, so... Anyhow, um, this is Ghost Hunter Dan. Thanks for watching. Hey everybody, Ghost Hunter Dan. This will be the last part of my video for the day. I was going to end it elsewhere, but uh, we're over at Malta Cemetery. We're now in, actually this is Pine Hill Cemetery, and then on the other side of those trees right there is Maple Cemetery. The reason I'm here is uh, this is the McQueen Mausoleum. And you see 1910, kind of the same uh, shape and build of the one in Malta. Uh, you got your vents on the sides. And I don't want to be disrespectful and walk over anybody's grave, so I'm going to be very careful. Um, then you got your stained glass window there, which is covered because at some, one point or another, somebody's tried to break in through there. So which is a very disrespectful thing to do. Um, now, I've been down into Resurrection Cemetery, Mount Carmel, and Queen of Heaven Cemetery in Chicago, and these little crypts like this are all over in there. It's almost like a little, uh, they got like street signs and street corners. And uh, when Larry and I were there, we were there with my good friend Craig, um, we shot some video of that and we took a lot of pictures and uh, the small town paranormal sign is, or the small town paranormal group isn't up anymore, but we posted a bunch of them there. Now I can republish that page. And so any of you who are interested, just chime in on this video or when I share it to the Ghost Hunter Dan project on Facebook, chime in if you want me to open that page back up so you can all see the old pictures, I will. So, um, but the interesting thing is, is this is two cemeteries up here, um, right here where the tree line is, and over to there where, <clears throat> where the circle drive is, and you can see where the stones stop right over there. That's all Maple Cemetery. This up in here where we're standing right now, my brother Dave's with me and he doesn't want to be on camera so I'm not going to put him on there. This is Pine Hill Cemetery. So actually two cemeteries here in Kirkland. So. Um, right over in here, right in this tree line here, is where we always get lots and lots of activity and action. Uh, my friend Rob got his shadow figure right along here. Uh, this is where my brother-in-law Brad and my sister-in-law Jackie and I uh, saw the figure walking on the thermal. And uh, this is where one of the first first uh, hunts we ever saw we saw a, a mist and a leg come materializing out of the mist and it always seems to be right in here right through here guys so um, so 
So right here in this tree line, I'm standing in two cemeteries if I spread my feet apart. So, uh, and then, and then right over here is where Pine Hill ends and Maple begins. So, just an interesting little tidbit for any of you guys who didn't know. Uh, and, um, probably one of the most, probably one of the most haunted cemeteries I, I hunt. Uh, nothing bad here. Uh, but we've got numerous EVPs. We did a, Larry and I did a heck of a K2 session right up there and talked to a spirit of a little boy for about 30 minutes and we were getting intelligent K2 hits. And we even got EVPs to back it up, so... So technically in Pine Hill, uh, they could actually bury people in here and all the way over to there. And they've still got quite a bit of room right there. So, but I'm not sure if Pine Hill is owned by, by the McQueen family and their descendants or not. So that much I don't know about. So anyway, guys, this will end this video. Um, remember to subscribe, like, and share. And, uh, I'm going to do a shout out to Steve Wren, who's on my team, Gary Roach, who's on my team, Larry Eisler, who still ghost hunts with me every once in a while when he gets a chance. He's pretty busy. My brother and Dave and Julie, my sister Julie, and her fiance Brad, they join us every once in a while, and Patty um, Marinelli. Uh, so I'm going to try to get you all together, and we're going to we're going to get together and do a big hunt here at the end of October. So, anyway, guys, uh, remember to subscribe, like, and share again to all of our stuff that we're doing. And, as always, thanks for watching.